This is Severe MMA. We're at the Victoria Warehouse in Manchester, and we're alongside, I'm going to call the elusive <laughs> Darren Till. And people who watch the UFC now are going to know who you are, but I, I'm going to start with the question, where were you before then? Because it, your, your name was always around. We never got to see you fight. Uh, <clears throat> well, when I started fighting Muay Thai, didn't I, when I was about 12 years of age, and then I, I went pro when I was 15, and then when I got to about 17, I, I left my Muay Thai gym to sort of transition over to MMA. And uh, I started training at Carbon full time. And I had a few amateur fights and that, but uh, as, as soon as I had a few amateur fights, about, I think I had three or four, I got stabbed, didn't I, in uh, my ribs. So uh, I had to talk with Colin and that, and basically said, you need to go to Brazil to it. You, you know, if you want to make a career and you want to be the best, you got to go to Brazil and, you know, stay over there for a few years and focus and without any distractions. So basically I said, you know, I did what he said and it's worked out. At the end of the, it's cutting a long story short, I'm in the UFC. So I wasn't like, I wasn't around the circuit, the England circuit for like 10 years, like a lot of these people. I, I can, I've seen people who've been trying to get in the UFC for 10 years now. But I think a little bit of it, like I listened to everything Cole said, like every, in my opinion, team, you know, Team Carbons up, has got a famous name and it, there's, there's no better gym. There's, I'm not just saying it because I'm from that gym. Like analyzing Carl as a coach and Team Carbon, it's it's an unbelievable gym. And everything he's told me to do, I've done. So it's worked out. You know, I'm young and I'm already in the UFC and I'm ready to take over. Is, is you know, a ridiculous question, I suppose. But is is the culture in Brazil? It's got to be a little bit different in terms of in terms of. Did you was that a help? It was because yeah. you must have seen the difference in terms of the attitude towards the sport. Yeah. How big a help was that? Yeah, it was a help because you can fight every week out there. It's not like England. It's it's bigger out there. You know, it's getting bigger in England, obviously, but uh, it's big. You can fight every week. Like I had, I think it was like eight fights in one yeah. year. You know, so I kept fighting. And I was working on what I needed to work on, you know, ground, wrestling. Is it fair to say that perhaps the level of competition at that time might have been a little bit greater there as opposed to the UK? Because, again, we're still fledgling here in the UK. I know it's been around for a little while, but compared to Brazil, you know, you, you think of Brazil maybe as the home of yeah. that kind of thing. Did, did the style of fighters or the type of fighters, were they any different? Or no, were they just uh, I think out of my 14 fight career in MMA professionally, I think I've had about, I'll be honest, <laughs> Five or six hard fights. The rest were just, I'm, you know, I'm sorry to say, it, bums. Okay. And it's the same as I'd, I'd say the level of people I was fighting at the start there was the same here. Like people when they starting out and they're meant to be this prospect, they get spoon fed their opponents, which isn't wrong. You got to build yourself up, but you can't just get people have got this idea that they need to have a great record and get to the UFC. It doesn't work like that. You need you need obviously you need to have easy matches to get build your name, you, but you need to have them hard fights. You know, you need you need to get beat. You need to have hard fights to know that you're ready. Because we see it all the time. People get to the UFC, they have two or three fights, and they get cut. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, the le the level out there, I'd actually go f as far to say that English level's better, because out there it's there's a million shows, but they're not that good. Yeah. Then there's a few good shows where you can fight really good fights, black belts in Jiu Jitsu and whatever. But. Uh, I wouldn't, I'd say just the culture of, of it out there for me, I didn't have any distraction and knew what I needed to do to get to the UFC. Do you mind, you know, when you look at, you look at the rise of some of the, you know, the Europeans, you, Connor comes to example because of the, the talk as well as the performance, you're flying underneath the radar, I think. Yeah. Is that a, is that a good place to be or do you want, it's now time, you know. At the moment, yeah, because uh, people keep saying to me, like, when are you going to start calling people out? And it's all, it, it, you know, it's all, you know, it needs to be timed, right? Like, I've got better banter than anyone. I can I can start talking shit better than anyone, better than Connor even. But it's all, I can't start calling people out now because people are going to say, I'm going to make you've been out for a year and a half. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? That's what they're going to say to me. So I need to get a fight booked. I need to start, you know, knock someone out, which I'm going to do. And then I'll start talking. I'll start calling people out. But at the moment, I'm, I'm actually happy that I'm flying under the radar because people are sort of forgetting about me and it's all good because it's not like I'm coming, I've had surgery, it's not like I'm coming back and I've got a fight on a small show again. I've already got the UFC there waiting for me, so I'm actually happy at the moment where I am. Surgery went well, recovering yeah, perfect. nice. I'm, I'm back at Calvin, I've been back since Christmas. My fitness is getting back, my weight's dropping, training is really hard and... 
you know, I can't wait to really focus on my stand up and my striking with Colin because I've never really focused on that part with Colin. Like when I was in Brazil, I only focused on the ground part of things and wrestling. I never even worried about my stand up, and I still had fourteen fights and knocked eight out. Mm. So can you? Um, I I think of it like this. I can't I can't imagine the possibility when I start like actually evolving my striking with one of the best striking coaches in the world, Colin Allen. So it's a scary, it's a, it's a scary time in my career. I can't wait. In a perfect world, when would you be? When would you step back into the back into the cave? When's kind of the per? You I reckon three, in four months? two two or three months, I'm 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 fine. Like people see, say, oh, you need to get on the London show, and I probably could have got on the London show, but it would have been rushed. Yeah. Like I want, I wanna, I, I'm only young, and I'm already in the UFC. So why am I gonna rush anything? You know, my time will come at the moment. You know, who's the biggest name is Connor. He's having his time. He's he's doing so much for the sport, you know. Uh, I, what he, everything he's done, he's done perfect. And uh, my time will come, and I'll be bigger than him. We'll talk about a couple of the fights you've had. You know, the the, the, the fight that put that really kind of put your name on the mat. Not a decision that you'd probably want to. You'd, you'd want the win, but the fight with Dalby mm-hmm. when that was pegged as you know. Yeah. You look at that fight with a little bit of regret. No, 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 no. It was a good fight. Uh, you know. Uh, Darby's an ex-cage warrior as well yeah. champion right just like Connor yeah. uh, I showcased in the first two rounds that Darby shouldn't have been in there with me st- striking wise he couldn't take me down and he couldn't strike with me and uh, I consider my striking to have been sloppy in that fight and then the third round I take me out off he came like a warrior like the fighter he is and he, he you know he got that round should I have won maybe but it was a decision Dana White was Dana White even sent us both an email with an extra tre- check in. We got an extra check on top of the bonus. I can't complain with that. You know, it got voted in 2015. And then it was in the top ten. It was, a it, was it was a great fight. I had messages from all over the world. So I'm happy about that fight. You know, I came out. We were we both kept our records intact. Yeah. So I'm coming back in a perfect world. I'm unbeaten. I'm young. You know, I already put me in it. People might have forgot, oh, Darren, where's he gone? But yeah. I'm, I'm happy that I'm actually under the radar, radar at the moment. Because when I come back, people will not believe what they're going to see. Is there any, you know, again, you said you're not in a position where you can be calling someone out. So I'm not asking you to say, oh, you know, that guy. Would yeah. Be, but what type, you know, what type of opponent are you looking at to come back? Are you looking at someone cuffing on the top 15? Do you not care? What would be the perfect opponent? Right now, I don't think I'm any. I'm in any position to say top fifteen or because I've been out for a year and a half. I've had two fights in the UFC, so I'm not in it. I I, I know like I'm I'm sensible sensible enough to know I can't just call any top fifteen fights out. Even though I could beat the number one right now, I'm I'm sensible enough to know that it doesn't work like that. You're gonna get a lot of hatred for that. You need to be fighting and you need to be active. You know we can go back to an example as Connor. People could talk shit about him, but he was fighting yeah. and he was beating guys. So what can you say for, to a guy like that? Do you know what I mean? Like he was backing it up. Yeah. You know, pe- people like to hate on him and whatever, but he was backing it up, and that's what it's all about. I can't really say nothing now. People are gonna, you've been out for a year and a half. Who the fuck are you? That's what people are gonna say, and I don't want that kind of reaction. I want to come back with a bang. Is that what people are gonna be saying at the end of 2017? I reckon I'll be fighting for the belt next year. At the end of next year. Against who? Because it's such a, you know... Yeah. It's a hard it's division. A tough, it's, you know, the title's bouncing around a it's, little bit. It's unbelievable, Does the it division. Matter? It doesn't. No, it doesn't. I, I, I've, you know, I've been... Uh, this year and a half that I've had out, I've had so much time to think uh, in Brazil and since I'm back here. And, you know, what I'm seeing is that welterweight is probably the hardest division at the moment. It's just full of monsters. And I'm one of their monsters, and I know I can beat anyone in that division. And even it, people keep saying to me that I'm massive as well, like because I have gone really heavy. I've been lifting a lot of weights to get you know me recovering my shoulder. But it doesn't even matter if I go to welter or middle. I, I'm I'm still gonna fight for that belt. I, I, that belt is coming very soon. Darren, you know I, I I could ask you to kind of play fortune reader, you know mind reader and predict the future. I'm not gonna. What I'm what I am gonna ask though is. You know, UFC London, that's a little bit that's a little bit close, but they're now starting to put like Brits against each other. Yeah. You know, you've got Askham and I know it's not your weight class, mm. but you gotta ask him and uh, Scott. You know, it's as a British fighter competing at that level, th- would it matter to you if you were in with another Brit? Like let's say they said, right, what's gonna be you and Rocky Edwards? This is there a time and a place for those fights, do you think? Yeah, I think it's it's intelligence from the UFC. The UFC are not going to put two English prospects against each other when they can do it with 
an American prospect and fa- because they, they're trying to build the European market. If, you, if you've noticed, which I have, years ago, the market was Brazil. Yeah. Now, since that, it's not Brazil anymore. It's the, the, the market is Europe. You know, they want to get Russia and, yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. So, at the moment, it's not smart for them to do it for me. I don't really give a fuck who mm-hmm. I fight. I don't care. But it's not smart for them. So, I understand, you know... It's good as well to put two British fighters against you though, because a lot of you know a lot British of. Fans, but yeah. uh, at the moment, the UFC are being really clever about what you see. They put Rocky Edwards against uh, Vincent yeah. from Brazil. Great matchup, Brazil, England. Yeah. So they're, they're being very smart and intelligent with what they're doing. So at the moment, I don't know, you know what I mean. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. By the end of 2017, you suggest that I'm talking to the number one contender, if not I the wanna, world. I want to, at the end of two, uh, no, 2018, 18, I said next year. Yeah, right, <laughs> We're yeah. in 2017 yeah, now, yeah, yeah. We've, we've just come, uh, I, wanna, I want people to be saying, this guy needs to fight for the title. I, I want the same reaction as what Connor did, you know, after four or five fights. I want that reaction. I don't want to spend four or five years trying to, I, I want to just get in, knock, knock people out, clean out. Knock contenders out, and then that's it. The people are saying he needs to fight for the title. You know what I mean? So that's 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 my. I'm dreaming big, and you you have to say your dreams out loud. You can't just say them in your head. You have to believe and say them to other people, and that's that's believing. And I believe in what I say. I got to tell you, sitting next to you, I kind of believe it too. Yeah, I'm, you need I'm to gonna, believe it. not going to argue true. with it. It's true. Darren, it's been a pleasure yeah. meeting you for the first time. It seems, again, odd. The first I know, time considering... I think I'm the only person in, who's flying. In, in UK MMA that's flying <laughs> on the radar. We can't wait to see you work again. No worries.